Hey y'all, so YouTube just stopped on me. So there's gonna be a part one and a part two of this video, or a part three and a part four too. It depends on how many times YouTube stops on me while I'm recording on my phone. So I apologize. Um, we are going to go ahead and take out our first batch of chicken and get our second batch started. So I'm gonna hand the phone back to my husband so that he can continue recording. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll do it myself because he putting stuff up. This stuff, my boy, because I need to do this. Normally, I have my what do you call that out? My cooler, right. my baker's rack out, but today I'm gonna use my broiler pan. It's all the same difference. Take a look at that. It almost looks like a shrimp. That should really focus real good. I'm not focusing, but come back to me. Yeah. Mustard fried chicken, y'all. We're going to see what it tastes like. Put it over there to drain and stay crisp. I might have my husband try one of these for y'all on camera. Would you be willing to do that, baby? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm dirtying up ahead again. To get our second batch in. You want to give the, after you take that first batch out, you want to give the heat a little more time to grease a little more time to heat up just a little bit not a lot you don't need a whole bunch of time but just so it's ready for your second batch or for your next batch be careful you guys with that grease you amateur cooks use tongs don't 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 do this with your fingers and stuff. You'll burn your hand up or burn the house down. One of the two. Just use your tongs. That's going to be a nice piece of crust right there. And I'm going to love it. I'm eating that piece, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the second batch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flour up some more. You have any wise words for the people? No. Nah. You need to love God as you love the church. Yes. Well, it'll be some wise words. Those are. Amen. The words of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. I'm just kind of throwing these to the side. I, I did that for the second batch, and I'm going to reflower these again just because they sit. And I want to make sure that that flower is on them. That'll be the second, third. I'm going to say we have what? What would you say? Two more batches? Three. Three? Why you say three? Because you ain't putting them in one, two, three, four, well, six and eight at a time. You can't crowd the skillet, the pan, the pot. And you got about 30 wings, 40 wings. 40. So this was a pack, uh, two packs of 10, and I cut them down. That's what I'll do for now. And all of these right here will go in the next batch. You think? <laughs> you said we have six. 
And this will be the last bit, right here. Oh, okay. That's your last bit. Don't dare. Don't doubt me. Look at that chicken looking pretty. Can I taste two? No, you can taste one. If you want to, but I want you to do one for dinner. Okay. I don't want none of these to stick. So we're gonna move them around in here a little bit. Give everybody the opportunity to cook evenly. And I'm gonna let you do a mukbang. I'm gonna get a chicken towel. So he can taste it on camera. Which one you want? The yeah, one you get. Okay. I'm let you taste it on camera. It looks nice and crispy. Y'all look at that piece of chicken. Let me see, can I get some? You can see the ingredients on there. I can see the black pepper. Hold on, I'm not in focus. Let me see. Y'all see that chicken? So, let me take, take off this little piece of crust right here. He don't need it. I'm gonna eat the poison off. Mm. So, we're going to see if this chicken is all that mustard chicken is cracked up to be. This mm -hmm. is my second time hearing about mustard chicken. So, this time I decided to give it a try. Um, so, we're going to see what happens. Let's go. You ready for me? Yes. Pray over the chicken. Be heavenly Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing us with this food. Thank you for having it prepared, Lord. We just say thank you, Lord, for just being a wonderful, powerful God in our life, Lord. And I just pray that this chicken be good as I think it's going to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Really? You had to say that? Is it done? Is it like an extra bit of moisture? Do you taste some tanginess? You taste the tang of the mustard. Okay. So it's a little different from what we normally do. It's hot. <laughs> it is good. Tastes good? I think it's looking good. Me and one of my co-workers was just talking about chicken tonight at work. Talking about it's best to make your own. Yeah. You told him about the mustard chicken? Yeah. I bet he said mustard chicken. Well, you've tasted it now. You know what it tastes like. I might need another piece to make sure it tastes that. I don't think so. There's plenty. You could have another piece if you want another piece. Mm -mm. Wait, you make my plate? Oh, oh gosh. We, we, I can't turn the camera around or nothing. Y'all, I don't eat chicken like that. I can't never take all the chicken off the bone as he did. I pick at it with my fingers, but it tastes so good. It's still good. I just have to, that's just how I eat it. So, is it crunchy? Look at my bones still smoke. Flavorful. <laughs> it's not smoking. No. Oh, it is some steam coming up from it still. Let me see if I can catch it. Yeah, I caught it on camera. Y'all see that little bit of steam? <laughs> so, describe it. Good, crispy. You taste a little twang of the mustard. Tastes pretty good. The seasoning? For my first time, the seasoning, you can taste all the seasonings that are all okay. marinated in there. Okay, good. 
So we'll be making mustard chicken again? Oh, most definitely. Okay. So are you done? Yeah, I, I, I don't Wait till you make my plate. Okay, so I'm giving you back the camera so we can go take a look at the second batch. Okay. Look at that boy, they floating already. I always try to put some extra season on the outside. So I take the chicken and put it all together. You know what? That um mustard made like a a crispier type of crust. That crust is yep. like a light, a light crust. You know? Mmm. Mmm. I can taste that mustard. Mmm. Sprinkle it. for well, little Tony says she is at the end. We'll take a look at these chicken. I say maybe about. One more minute. I'm going to take my top off of potatoes. See that brown? That's what you want. Keep that in there. You need all of that. But as you can tell, these are already breaking down because you covered them with that top. I would say add a tiny bit less oil than I added here. But they basically done. Look at that. Those are done. I just need them to get uh, some more fry on them. Like brown. I'm going to let them vent. It looks like this second batch is ready to go. At least these little pieces right here are. I'm not for sure. Jumbo shrimp. Yeah. They're nice and golden brown. That's a bigger one, so I'm gonna leave that in there for just a tad bit more. Ain't nobody got time to bite into something that's red. It ain't done. Ain't nobody got time for that. Sir. Ooh, I go that one that had that long piece of skin. Shriveled up. Once they come out, you hit them with that seasoning. I think food for the soul, she fit, puts, uh, what did she say, garlic powder? Yeah. On hers. I do that, but I put either slap your mama or some Tony Cheshire's. Give it a little extra kick. I know I have still have this last one in here, but I am going to go ahead and get this other batch. Third batch. In. Why did I cook so much? I know. I got one kid. I got a kid that's asleep, one away at college, and I just can't stop cooking just a little bit of food. <laughs> it's a habit now. But I'll take some for lunch to work tomorrow, and I'm sure somebody will eat it. Eat some more for breakfast <laughs> with some eggs. 
Somebody. I'm not going to name no names. Who are you speaking of, babe? <laughs> you. <laughs> Am I telling the tale? No, you tell okay. the truth. I made me some egg sandwiches this morning with lunch meat. See? Potato chips. Potato. Yo. And water. I was gonna I was gonna drink me some soda, right? No, sir. But some just kept saying drink you some water. You needed the water. So I needed I drank me some water. I've been drinking water all day. Yeah, you say that, but no, it's for how real. How many cups? No, we drink bottles at work, babe. Uh, but how many cups do you drink here at home? Oh, two. That's not enough. And how many bottles did you have at work? Two. That's not Four. enough. Not enough. Okay, y'all, I'm adding a little more to this stack, to this batch. But I'm about to pull out that one. She done now, look at that. She done now. Excuse me. See, I got more room. Sorry. No problem. Okay. And then I'm going to batter up. Let me see if any more chicken in here. The last batch. Batter up. Flour up. The last batch. Get some of this mustard marinade in now. I guess it's just a marinade, but it's a wet marinade and it's keep you from having to use um, cornstarch, that's for sure. Which I love putting cornstarch in my flour. Equal amounts cornstarch to flour. And then you just flour it up, let it wait for that batch. Now we're going to be ready to eat here in a few minutes. This is part two. <laughs> so YouTube cut off on me earlier. That's crazy. That's never happened. So, if you want to see more cooking videos, Cooking with Caramel Diva, two A's, zero one, make sure you click that like button. You click the subscribe. And do not forget to click the notification bell. That is the only way that you're going to see videos when they're uploaded from this channel. You must click the bell. That is the notification bell. Share this video wherever you share your videos. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Share this video on all of your social media platforms and make sure that you try this recipe. Make sure that you give Food for the Soul the credit because this is where I got the recipe from. I'm going to wash my hands and make this water all in the bowls that my honey's going to wash for me. Lord, <laughs> have mercy. But I was just thinking that though. You go wash up. Okay. You just want me to make the dishwasher? Okay. No, nah, I make my own dishwasher. You need make your dishwasher. Cause you'll burn my fingers off. I will. I believe in hot, hot, bleach hot water dishwasher. And ain't nobody got time for that. Gotta use these hands for moving boxes. I don't want to hear anything that you need to use those hands for. This is a family channel, sir. Amen. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my potatoes out of the pot and put them in a container. It's too many. It's too little. Yeah. Let me see. I think I'll use one of these. 
I like my spatula because it has a little sharp edge and I can just kind of go in and flip. Flip! Some people uh, put sausage in there, smothered potatoes, and onions, and mushrooms, and it just tastes good like that all together to me. With sausage, with cabbage, yeah, that's that one dish right there when you put that cabbage and sausage and potatoes together. I'll have to make that one day. Get all the goodness from the pan. Don't leave nothing a chance. We need it all. There are your fried potatoes. Nice and hot. I'm going to put a top on those and those will be ready to go. Once I put this last batch of chicken in, then we'll put our steamable, uh, what do you call that? Mixed Green vegetables. Beans in a microwave. Hmm? Start well around, baby. Look. Yeah. In the microwave. In the microwave for five minutes. Get pop off of that. <laughs> Mix these up. Get them. Get them separated. They're trying to go together. We don't go together. Separate. I didn't forget. I'm gonna put a little bit of. On that one I took out, you gotta have a flavor. Okay. He's going to wash the dishes, isn't he sweet? We haven't even gotten out of our work clothes, y'all. I got a little beads of sweat. But, on the weekends, we cook in the kitchen together most of the time. Um, mostly all the time. When we're not running. Because that seems to be our new norm. Ripping and running around with the kid. This is my, my cup. I put water in this cup. All day long. Keeps it nice and cold. I stole it from hubby. Well, really, he gave it to me. Did you give me this cup? He ended up giving it to me because I was like, probably whining or something. This cup, I guess it's like a Yeti. Yeah, I guess it's like a Yeti. So. Okay. I would like to plate up a um, plate for you guys. But I think we'll wait and do that on the weekends. Make sure that you comment in the description box. I mean, not in the description box. Comment in the um, comment section the different meals that you guys would like to see prepared. 
um, different dishes that you want to see prepared. Give me some different ideas. I'll do the research and come on camera and cook them for you guys. So, y'all let me know um, what you guys want to see. In the meantime, once again, click share, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you are notified when all of my videos are um, uploaded and that you can take a look. Make sure you click that like button. Thumbs up. Click the like button. Let your friends know. Tell your mama and them, your dad and them, your grandma and them that you are cooking with Caramel Diva. We will see you guys next time. Say bye, honey. Bye-bye. You're not going to look at the family and tell them bye? Bye-bye. He got sudsy hands. <laughs> okay, you guys. We'll see y'all next time on the next video. Bye.